Good afternoon, Evan. Shane Miller here from Wayne Phillips Ford at Christie's Beach. My manager Stephen's uh, asked me to do a quick video on the Kluger Grande uh, we have in stock, the low K1 owner full history vehicle. Um, these things are so good, I've got one myself. Um, so they actually offer a, uh, a lot of things um, as standard with the Kluger Grande being top of the range. Um, first of all, you get your nudge bar on the front and a bit more chrome on the grill and your fog lights as well. Taking you around to the 19 inch alloys. So, um, factory or a 19 inch wheel, plenty of tread front and rear, um, good 60 70 percent on both, uh, actually a little bit more on the front, um, and probably a good 60 percent on the back tyre as well. Um, so, the Grande definitely offers that little bit more, a little bit more chrome uh, door handles, and um, you've got your, uh, your standard um, side step rail. So they are pretty much the whole package, and this one's even got the uh, the roof racks on top as well, on the roof rails. Privacy glass on the back window, so it's dark glass, um, but uh, there's just a standard clear glass on the front window as well. This car presents beautifully, um, and uh, definitely has been a very well looked after, fully maintained vehicle. Uh, has a full service history, and um, as you can see, exterior wise, it really does present uh, near new. Um, the, uh, the Kluger Grande also has uh, a double lift rear, so you've got your top lift window, and you've got your main door window as well. In the seven seater. Definitely offers that little bit more space and room, um, giving you ample leg room in the uh, the back back row. And uh, I mean, I've had my parents in the back back uh, with the kids in the second row, and uh, and gone to Mildura, and uh, they've been pretty comfortable all the way. So it definitely offers a huge storage space when the back seats aren't being utilised either. This one does have a heavy duty tow bar fitted uh, with a slide tongue. And uh, definitely offers that little bit, a uh, little bit more there as well with capacity and not having to fork out for a uh, a, nut, uh, a tow bar. So this one's got the electric automated boot, which press a button, the boot opens and closes um, at the press of a button without having to manually pull the door down or lift it up, which is pretty fancy. In the all-wheel drive, the 3.5 definitely offers a lot of power, but a great economy as well. At the moment, we're getting about 11.8 litres to the 100 k's, um, but in saying that, we uh, are non-stop traffic sort of back and forth. Uh, my wife drives uh, from, uh, to give you an idea, Woodcroft to uh, to Flinders every day, so um, pretty much uh, down the expressway, but then a lot of start-stop as well. Um, on the internet, it gives you an average combined of 10.8 uh, litres to the 100 k's, so um, you know, not bad for a mind average now we do have the promotion at the moment where you can win a free uh, free fuel for the year um, and uh, basically for everyone that takes a test drive uh, you go into the running to uh, to win that um, but at the same time uh, the vehicle comes with a free three-year warranty which covers you for the first thousand up to ten thousand on your engine transmission and powertrain um, and also comes with cap price servicing so that covers you uh, in an all-wheel drive two hundred thirty nine dollars uh, cap price per service every uh, 12 months or ten thousand k's of the Toyota um, and uh, of course your three months 5,000 K statutory warranty. Now I'll just give you an idea as you can see there's a sunroof on the top there fully automated and electronic I mean with only 86,000 K's definitely great value for the money. I'll just walk you inside the vehicle so you've got keyless entry keyless ignition all electric on the driver's side so you've got electric windows electric mirrors central locking and a window lock there as well so the uh, upsy downsy game isn't played too often Kluger gives you a nice chrome trim on the inside of the door and has a maximum towing capacity of two ton so on the right of the steering wheel there's your mirror control just turn the fan down the air conditioner You've got a dimming switch there for the main dash, and you've also got the button which opens the uh, the rear tailgate uh, electronically at the press of a, uh, of a button. Cruise control on the steering wheel to set. Then you've got a display control on the steering wheel on the right hand side, 
Also, you've got a, uh, a speak function. Uh, once your Bluetooth is paired, um, you can make calls, text, that sort of thing. Um, on top of that, you've got your climate control on the right-hand side of the steering wheel, and you've got your audio controls on the left-hand side, fully integrated into the vehicle with a touch screen in the center, which I'll touch on in a second, and your Bluetooth controls there. Now, in the foreground, you've got the electronic start so it's push button start you've got two key fobs um, that uh, will as long as they're within about half a meter of the door the car will open and uh, within the vehicle the car will start put on the brake push the button and off you go 85,000 kilometers 768 on the clock um, this is a one owner full history vehicle and a very clean car as you can see interior wise it does present as new there's no cracking or anything like that whatsoever on the dash um, and as you can see the driver's seat unmarked unworn untorn of course the driver's seat much the same as you can see there condition of the interior is immaculate the back seat also present as new as do the seventh seats so you can see there virtually brand new all the way through great thing about the Klugers if you're not utilizing the third row you can actually drop the headrest and then drop the center so it actually offers a bit of storage there and you've got uh, a cup holder system as well now your cup holder system is actually stored and you can swap that over with the center console which is actually in the center of the center armrest in the front now just to touch on you do have a rear air con unit a separate being a seven seater so complete control over the rear air conditioning um, and it is sanctioned off to the back back so separate temperature to the front and um, obviously the front you've got dual zone climate so left and right can be different as well as the rear temperature can be different so it's quite amazing technology ultimately with four vents one two three and you've got one more up here as well there is a, a roof mount dvd player integrated into the main audio unit um, and that also comes with headphones as well fully controlled by your controls on the front of the unit with a fold down screen and your volume control on the side there which is always important especially if you've got kids in the back <laughs> and now there are three anchor points across the back in the middle row and then you've got the two seats at the back cup holders are ample in these um, and uh, very easy to operate uh, second row to slide forward and increase the amount of room in the back back if need be chrome trim on the door handles and they've got the wood grain there as well so that really does set this car off to being a top of the range vehicle and just to go through your main features you've got your screen at the top that gives you um, quite a descriptive uh, outlay of what the vehicle is doing um, it also gives you your climate control so as you can see the left hand side is maximum cold temperature and then you can adjust the right hand side driver's side if you want to be at a different temperature outside temperature and the clock there as well now underneath that you've got your main audio unit so it is your premium sound audio you can uh, incorporate your navigation there too um, but if you just go to your main audio, that'll come through at the top there. You can change your information, um, gives you your maintenance schedule, your phone, security, calendar, and uh, different settings there as well. And then you can change your different uh, uh, displays from there. Um, you've got a, a, four, a five CD stacker, um, which you basically load into the unit behind the uh, the screen there as you can see so you just keep feeding them in and taking them out accordingly and then you've got your map disc at the bottom there as well so I'll just reinsert that to give me a demo as to how it all works you've got your voice which you can activate through your map and um, destination is very easy to plot volume on the right hand side and um, what is that? tuning on the left hand side there too now in reverse that changes into a reverse camera so you've got a huge camera great span great vision all the way around great for safety and definitely does give you a good sight of everything that is behind you from there underneath you've got your climate control unit it is a manual touch and so basically you've got full feature control and you've got your rear control there as well um, and uh, underneath that 
and see there you've got a heated seat control as well so your driver and passenger control um, are completely heated with an auxiliary point there too bear with me two seconds I just have to move for our uh, owner <laughs> So, apart from that, there's uh, not much more to really tell, Evan. There's uh, plenty of storage, two cup holders there and two behind. Um, you've also got a 12 volt, 120 watt plug there. Um, you've got a snow setting being an all drive and a downhill ascent control. So what that does is if you are on a steep incline, you can press that button, take your foot off the brake, don't accelerate and just control the steer and uh, it'll actually control your descent um, with uh, utilizing, uh, utilization of your traction control, stability control and those sort of other safety features built into the vehicle. A huge centre console there, um, plenty of storage and uh, and great capability there for um, for any extras that you may have with a few little pockets tucked away, for example just under there on both sides of the column and a very large uh, glove box there too. Any other questions, Evan, please don't hesitate to give me a call. That's the, uh, the sunroof there. I'll just demonstrate the function so it does completely open. But at the same time, it does just tilt if you would prefer just to vent the vehicle. Alright. So, again, Shane Miller from Wayne Phillips Ford at Chrissy's Beach. And my number is 0418 859 359 and would love to hear from you soon. I do apologise if I have missed anything. Please let me know and uh, more than happy to cover that. Um, one thing I will do before I stop is I'll just quickly pop the bonnet and show you uh, under the bonnet. And then if there are any questions, I look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you Mike, very much, Evan. Take care and look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you.